A very good morning to one and all present here. On behalf of Delhi Public School, Lava, I welcome you all to the Inter-School Science Quiz, Science Wizards. Every year, National Science Day is celebrated in our school with zeal and enthusiasm. Science Wizard is a part of National Science Day celebration. India celebrates National Science Day every year on 28th of February. The day has been observed annually since 1987 in honor of the great scientist in honor of the discovery of Raman effect by the Indian physicist Chandrasekhara Venkat Raman. The theme for this year's National Science Day is Integrated Approach in Science and Technology for Sustainable Future. Keeping in mind the importance of sustainable development goals, the students are encouraged to study about the different SDGs. The SDGs are universal goals for all people and are inherently global in nature. Learning about these initiatives helps students develop insights into critical issues around the world, such as lack of access to clean water, availability of food for everyone. Now, it's time to start the quiz. But before we start, I request respected principal madam to encourage the young minds with her motivating words. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to Science Wizard, a science quiz on the occasion of National Science Day. Aarti ma'am has already told you National Science Day is celebrated every year on February 28th to commemorate the discovery of the Raman effect. Government of India designated February 28th as a National Science Day in 1986. On this day, uh, scientist C.V. Raman announced the discovery of the Raman effect for which he was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1930. The theme for this quiz is so relevant. Integrated approach in science and technology for a sustainable future. Our schools are involved in SDG projects and what better way to bring in awareness amongst the students than a quiz on this theme. Countries uh, around the world are faced with a significant challenge. How can they reach the 17 SDGs and 169 targets that sit underneath these goals? The SDGs, which are adopted by the international community since 2015, cover a diverse range of issues including gender equal equity, sustainable cities, access to clean water, and uh, good governance. It is a big, unwieldy, ambitious agenda. If it is successfully implemented, it could set the world on a course towards inclusive, sustainable development. Achieving the SDGs requires a systematic approach. Uh, for example, innovations in the field of clean transportation, smart city, we are also talking about smart cities here in India, and renewable energy uh, are allowing better resource management and reducing dependence on fossil fuels and other non-renewable energy. So in the coming years, Companies across industries will have to continue to prioritize environmental issues and design, test, and manufacture technologies that would help them. There are six areas to focus on that drive action quickly and at scale. Human well-being and capabilities, sustainable and just economies, food systems and nutrition patterns, energy decarbonization with universal access to modern energy, urban and semi-urban development, and of course, global environmental commons. So you as students can do your bit 
to look for solutions to problems that we face today, develop a scientific temper, and come out with unique products and smart ideas to tackle these issues. And I'm sure your teachers and school will definitely help you in this. We are also going to you know, launch the Innovative Ambassadors Program. And a lot of our teachers have done the training, the CBSC training for this. So having said all this, I would like to wish each team all the best, good luck, and thank you. Thank you so much, madam. Now it's time to meet our amazing teams. And here we go. Team one, science nerds. And the members are Yashashri Kulkarni, Kartik Gupta, Shambhavi Kulkarni. Team two, eco warriors. Members are Aryan Dubey, Yashvi Agrawal, Atulya Pandey. Team three, bio bosses. Shubh Agrawal, Shanaya Bansal, Tanmay Singh. Team four, Big Dippers. And the members are Ranjit Kulkarni, Parth Mandage, and Parth Dubey. Team five, Solution Squad, Shashank Singh, Riyansh Khanna, and Sparthak Verma. Team six, Free Thinkers, Sairam Swain, Akshara Kodale, and Megha Singh. Now, let me introduce you to the different rounds of the quiz. The quiz comprises of four rounds. Round one is the general round. Round two is a visual round. Round three is double trouble. Round four is rapid fire round. And the fifth is tiebreaker only if required. The detailed instructions for each round will be provided at the beginning of the round. Now, few basic instructions. It is mandatory to have the camera on and remain mute. Unmute only to respond to your question. If a parent prompts the child with the answer, the team will be disqualified. Only one team member will answer the question. Multiple answers will not be accepted. It is requested to keep a pen and paper with you to note down the score. The decision of the quiz master and the scorekeeper will be final. The answer received first from a team will be considered. Now it's time for round one, which is the general round. In the general round, each team will be asked one question. You will get 20 seconds to answer the question. 10 points will be given for the correct answer and the question will not pass. So here we start. I hope the instructions are clear. Shall I repeat or is there any query? Okay, uh, as there is no raised hand, so I'm moving forward. So team one, science nerds, your, your question is, which of the following is not a sustainable goal targeted to be achieved by 2030? And your options are on my screen and your time starts now. Space research. Space research. Absolutely correct answer and you get 10 points for that. Team two, your question, what is sold in solar kiosks? And your options are on the screen and your time starts now. Ten seconds left. Uh, Ma'am, electrically generated.